Wallace Gator Bradley. Like to add Alderman Mitchell to our quorum count today. I'd like to say uh, good morning, Chairman. This August body. I didn't think neither one of us was going to make it today after I saw that storm last night. I'm here for something that's very profound. I've been speaking on this since 2016. And that is why are we paying private attorneys to defend corrupt officers that were engaged in framing individuals or torturing individuals that end up being wrongfully convicted. I saw in the news story on July the 11th, WTTW, where he talked about this police officer, Renardo Herrera, I hope I'm pronouncing his name, where the city paid private law firm 35.7 million, 35 million to defend him, knowing he couldn't win the case. I'm here speaking today on behalf of a case which is Mark Maxson versus the city. If they found out by DNA that he didn't commit the crime, they also realized that he was wrongfully convicted. He ended up getting a certificate of innocence. And the one thing I want to share with this body that's a case that you're not going to be able to win because the family of the victims have closure because the individual that committed the crime got caught. And now he's doing 50 years. So you can't win that case. And hopefully the new corporate counsel will look into that case because, uh, from what I read from the court papers, they're ready to come to some type of understanding. And Chairman, with you being here now and instead of Burke being here, I know that you're making your alderman aware because I've been hearing good things about you educating the alderman to what's been happening when they didn't know what was happening before. I want to salute you. I want to salute this body. And I hope Mark Maxson gets some justice and y'all stop paying them private lawyers when you get a law department. Thank you. Thank you.